of the investment agreement would strengthen cooperation and bring prosperity to the people. His Majesty added that the Memorandum of Understanding on Intellectual Property and Standards would enhance the quality of ASEAN and China's goods and services. His Majesty expressed appreciation to China for its contribution to the region, particularly in establishing the Fund for Investment Cooperation, the Credit Facility and for China's participation as a development partner in BIM IAGA. With regard to social-cultural cooperation, His Majesty welcomed the ongoing effort in strengthening people-to-people -people contacts and look forward to signing the MOU on the establishment of the ASEAN China Centre to promote cultural, tourism, trade and investment ties between both sides. His Majesty expressed his appreciation to China for its cooperation and support throughout Brunei Darussalam's tenure as the country's coordinator for ASEAN-China dialogue relations. At the 12th ASEAN-Japan Summit, His Majesty welcomed Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama, who joined the summit for the very first time. In his tita, His Majesty encouraged ASEAN and Japan to continue their efforts in implementing their bilateral and regional economic partnership agreements. Japan's participation in sub-regional developments would help narrow the development gap in ASEAN. His Majesty acknowledged Japan's leading role in energy efficiency and environmental management and expressed appreciation to Japan for the assistance provided to developing countries in addressing climate change. His Majesty underscored the importance of ensuring sufficient food reserves in the region and encouraged more investments in the field of agricultural industries and the sharing of information and technology as well as capacity building programs to enhance sustainable food production. His Majesty observed that people-to-people -people exchanges were a distinct feature of ASEAN-Japan's relations and commended Japan's efforts in youth exchanges through the youth ship and the East Asia Youth Exchange programs. His Majesty also stated that ASEAN attached importance to the dialogue relations and looked forward to working closely with Japan in further strengthening the partnership. At the 12th ASEAN-Korea Summit, His Majesty stated that ASEAN and Korea celebrated its 20th anniversary last June in Jeju Island, where new ideas were introduced to further broaden and deepen the dialogue relations. His Majesty in particular recalled Korea's efforts to address climate change through its green growth strategy and welcomed the recommendations of the ASEAN-Korea Eminent Persons Group, EPG, to enhance partnership on climate change through the sharing of expertise and technologies. His Majesty also acknowledged the EPG.